when you take a look at how long this has taken to play out here, what have been the tensions, the turmoil, and the sticking points here, especially as Wall Street has been very closely watching how this investigation would impact Morgan Stanley? And you can understand why, but let's start with what specifically is happening with Morgan Stanley. Last year, when Pawan Pasi, a senior equity capital markets banker at, at the firm, was put on leave, that was the first real sign we had that there was an ongoing federal inquiry, which over the subsequent months we found out was about how big banks carry out block trades. Now, that is of particular interest to Morgan Stanley because it is the top bank when it comes to that segment of the market, but it is also of great interest to every other bank because in some ways this inquiry challenges the very way of doing business on Wall Street. We haven't heard much from the Department of Justice. No one's been accused of any wrongdoing. This is, it's been an ongoing inquiry, but we don't mm -hmm. know where it's headed. But we've seen morsels along the way. That was Pawan Pasi being put on leave a year ago. Nine months later, an underling on his desk, Charles Leisure, was also put on leave. But the important part was they were on leave. They were still Morgan Stanley employees. What seems to have changed very recently this month is that both of them are no longer with Morgan Stanley. And that at least indicates to us that there is some level of rift. And sources do tell us that the disagreement between the two executives in the bank was tied to the fact that they no longer are going to continue to cooperate with the bank in this ongoing probe. And you can see why that might be a little troubling for an institution like Morgan Stanley. And what about institutions that aren't Morgan Stanley? What is the read through here? As you say, this probe is still ongoing. These departures don't make it go away. So from what we know and what has been publicly disclosed, Morgan Stanley is the only large institution that has come out and said that it is facing an investigation by the Department of Justice, where even regulators at the SEC are looking at it. No other bank has had to make this disclosure. So you can assume right now it is only Morgan Stanley that is under the gun. Yeah. But in case you go to get to a point where you do find out that Morgan Stanley did get into some trouble or they find something <coughs> about the general way of doing business with respect respect to block trades was problematic at Morgan Stanley, it's hard to imagine that will not spread out right. to other institutions. They will want to look under the hood everywhere else. Kind of reminds you of what happened with the whole WhatsApp probe. It mm. started as a JP Morgan issue, and very quickly, once that matter was settled, it spread all across Wall Street. We've been talking about talent for so long here, the WhatsApp probe. You have the DOJ investigation when it comes to this block trading issue. Sorry, let me remember a second. <laughs> <laughs> but the reality, and look at Wells Fargo today. Whether it's in terms of pure dollars or whether it's just cracking down on employee behavior, how is that complicating the town story within banks? What happened in the WhatsApp probe? Weren't people placed on leave in that situation as well? They were, but again, they managed to land elsewhere without much trouble. That became more of a data retention issue. That became more of a bank compliance issue rather than anyone coming out and saying that they were carrying out some illicit activities by the use of WhatsApp. It was purely from a regulatory standpoint they felt that banks were not not doing the right job when it came to data retention because regulators and even prosecutors rely on banks being able to hold and keep this data so that when there are probes, they are able to look into all sorts of platforms where communications may have taken place. And okay. that's why that was more about the systems and the frameworks at an institution rather than what one any one individual might have done.